We're in the final days leading up to the 2020 election, and there's a big push to get young people to vote. Purdue President Mitch Daniels is a national spokesperson for the All In Campus Democracy Challenge, and he's calling on college students to participate in their constitutional rights. And Mitch Daniels joining me live from West Lafayette with more on this campaign. So good to see you again. Good morning. Good morning to you, Angela. Hey, let's talk about this really uh, bipartisan effort. You want everyone to get involved. Can you tell us about the challenge and how it works? Well, this one's focused on college campuses. There, are, By now, I think we have uh, hundreds of campuses participating, each in its own way. You know, it's not a new uh, preoccupation of mine, Angela. Uh, when I ran for public office, we made a huge, uh, em put a huge emphasis on young people and trying to involve them and, and do... Uh, encourage their participation, but I think it's never been more important than right now uh, in our national life that young people uh, step up and uh, uh, at, at levels that they historically have not and take part uh, in, in uh, not just choosing our officials, but uh, guiding uh, the policies uh, of our country. Yeah, you say too, historically, um, they don't participate, and I know that's been a very big concern of yours and many others. It feels like, and it might just be a feeling I have, um, that maybe this year more people, um, young youngsters, are taking part. Do you see that on your campus? I think so, and I hope so. You know, as I uh, pointed out in my uh, contributions to the All In uh, Project, uh, the uh, you know young people have a, as big a stake as they've ever had. We uh, our fiscal policies are tilted against them. We spend vastly more money on uh, their elders than we do investing in their future. We. Um, uh, healthcare policy discriminates against them. And the biggest one is we've piled up on a uh, really unconscionable debt, set of debts that uh, they're going to have to pay off. So uh, really, this is a time when they need to be examining those issues and and uh, taking their rightful place in our, in our public debates. Purdue, I think, is one of about 160 other institutions taking part in this. Um, is it basically, too, just kind of a marketing campaign? Or are you guys doing other things to really get students uh, registered to vote and to get them to actually vote? All of the above, yes. Uh, we had a big registration drive. Uh, we have uh, all sorts of uh, public information uh, 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 campaigns. And uh, many of our student organizations we've enlisted in talking to their members and their other fellow students uh, about the uh, right and really the, uh, the responsibility to, to vote. And lastly, um, you know, you get asked this a lot because people want you to run for another office at some point, a lot of people do. How do you feel about kind of the, the current state of affairs when it comes to politics and kind of your place um, there at the college and then maybe what is next for you? Oh, Angela, I, uh, you know, it's, I, I've been out, I've been in this job at, at Purdue now as long as I was in the last job. Hard to remember sometimes, and uh, people do bring it up still, and it, uh, the idea of, uh, of, of, of resu resuming some uh, political op op uh, op uh, activity, and um, I tell them, uh, uh, no, I, uh, I held out and got a better job. Yeah, it's, the, it's, it's pretty ugly these days, and um... I don't know. I'd, I'd go to a Purdue football game or a volleyball game instead if I could. <laughs> well, just to close on that, that's an important point. I, yeah. um, and I, I included it in my message about, uh, to the all-in audiences that on top of all those other issues, young people, I hope, are going to do better than their elders have mm -hmm. at, at, de at uh, de devising a, uh, a vocabulary of tolerance and inclusion and unity. Um, right now, we're just uh, hopelessly or, or ser seriously divided as a people. Young people need to find ways to come together and then bring the rest of us together. Mitch Daniels, thank you so much. I know somebody's trying to call in on Zoom, so we'll let you go and then uh, we'll move on. Good to see you again if you'd like more information about that challenge. Fox59.com slash links.